Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyAutomation.com and today we are going to check out the first developer tech preview build of Docker desktop for Mac powered by Apple Silicon M1 chip and Mac OS Big Sur. We all know that the MacBook Pro powered by Apple Silicon M1 chip is actually an ARM architectured processor announced on November 10th in the One More Thing event and there were many important softwares were not really supported by then and some of the most important ones which were not supported are the Docker desktop, which is used heavily by developers and testers, and the Parallel desktops. The Parallel desktops is very famous to run the Windows operating system parallelly, and the most important Office Suite, which always runs on the transition layer with the Rosetta 2 transitioning software. So those things are now starting to fade pretty quickly because many companies are starting to support Apple's M1 chip natively and one of the release that we're going to discuss today is the Docker support natively on MacBook Pro with M1 chip silicon. So as you can see if you just google the uh, Docker M1 support this is the first link that we were getting all these takes. If, if you just go all the way over here it says that Apple silicon M1 chip and the Docker support cannot run at the moment because the team is currently working on. But if you see this link, which is released like 11 hours before, and if you go over here, it says download and try the tech preview of Docker desktop for M1, which is pretty cool. So the team actually released finally the, the Docker desktop, like a developer preview for Apple M1 chips, which is really cool. And the most important thing that the team actually announced is they actually had to go through some of the three important key problems while trying to build this Docker desktop support for M1. The one is migrate from HyperKit to virtualization framework. So basically all these days the HyperKit is the one thing or the one of the important piece of component being used by the Docker desktop for Mac, but now they have to migrate to the virtualization framework which is provided by Apple, which was included in Mac OS Big Sur. So that has to be replaced fully and the team is working on that and that's why it took a bit of time. And then recompile all the various binaries of Docker desktop in the native ARM. That was also another most important thing. It's not there yet. I mean, that's what the team is saying that the support for the Apple Silicon with the Go language is going to be available from version 1.16 release which is targeted to release on February 2021. So meaning some of the binaries are not going to work as expected in the Docker desktop even though while we run it now. And similarly have enough hardware to reliably run continuous deployment in M1 is also not there yet. So all these things are actually taking down the actual development process of the Docker desktop for Mac a bit slower but this time finally the team has released a few caveat in here and there but yes you can download it from here now and see how it actually works. So I'm actually going to try out for the first time and we'll see how it actually works. So if you download from it here it's going to start downloading and I have already downloaded the DMG file. So I'm just going to double click this guy and it says the image is not recognized for some reason. I'm not sure why. Maybe I'm just going to re-download the same image once again and we'll see what actually happens and it's been downloaded now so I'm just going to double click this time and you can see that it is currently trying to open so for some reason I think this build has gone crazy or maybe I would have crashed this so I'm just gonna see how it actually works so you can see that the installation is currently happening there you go and it clearly says that the docker desktop is currently in the preview state and I'm just gonna drag and drop in the applications folder. And I think it's done right now. So I can just close this guy. And now if I open the Docker desktop for the first time in my Apple M1 Mac, so you should see that it should work as expected. There you go. So it says Docker is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Of course I am. And it says that Docker desktop needs privileged access. So because it needs to install the networking components and the links to the Docker app. So I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to enter my password. So you can see that the Docker is currently starting to run here. This is the first time I'm seeing a Docker being executed on a Mac M1 machine because all these days from the day I bought this Mac, I couldn't be able to use one of the most important software which is Docker. 
And you can see that the Docker is currently up and running. And this is the Docker desktop, guys. I could see that it's working fine, which is pretty cool. So now you can see that it gives me up that get started with the Docker in a few easy steps. So if I just do a start, so it's going to show me all the different things that we can do, something like clone the repository or build a new Docker image and run the Docker image, something like that, and then share the Docker image by signing in and stuff. So everything is working pretty much as expected, which is pretty cool. So I could see that everything is coming through over here. So now let's quickly see if this particular build is actually using the Intel architecture or the Apple's ARM architecture. And let's see if, if I could be able to find the Docker desktop. And you can see that it is currently still using the Intel architecture. It's not using the Apple architecture or the M1 architecture, but just that this particular guy, the Docker desktop is currently being executed or supporting the M1, but this particular app itself is not currently using the Apple architecture yet. But you can see that the underlying Docker daemon, which is currently executed, is actually using the Apple M1 architecture over here. So this is basically the Docker daemon, and this is basically the Docker desktop, the, this desktop. It is not an M1 supported desktop yet, so they have used the older version, uh, I think. But the underlying Docker daemon, which is executed, is currently actually running on, maybe I can just search for Docker. So you can see that the currently the underlying architecture of the Docker daemon is using the Apple architecture, which is pretty cool. So you can see that the supervisor, the VPN kit, and all those things are actually using the Apple architecture. So it makes pretty sense. And also the virtualization, the com.docker.virtualization is also the Apple architecture because that's what the Apple team is currently asking us to do as well. So that's it. So this is working fine as expected. So I'm just gonna go to the uh, terminal and if I just do a Docker here, you can see that the Docker is coming up pretty cool. And I can also do a Docker images to see all the images coming up over here, which is all good. So I could see that there is no image coming up because there is no image, of course. And now I can do something like a execution of a simple uh, Docker. As you can see, this is the simple command, like getting started Docker command. So probably I can just use this guy for now. And if I hit enter, you can see that it is trying to pull the uh, latest image, the getting started image for us. I mean, these speeds are pretty much exactly like the same one. I think there is no change on that. And you can see that this particular uh, container is currently running. And now I can just see what's going on. It shows all the details, like pretty much like how we used to show in the Intel architecture of the Docker. And now, I can go to the port 8080 probably like localhost colon 80 and you can see that it shows me the getting started page of the docker so basically this is coming from the docker itself so this is the getting started and everything is working as expected so this is pretty fast guys i mean it looks pretty cool to me so if i just do docker ps hyphen a uh, it shows this particular uh, docker container which is currently running I can also see the logs of the particular uh, container, something like that. Oops, logs. And you can see that the log is also coming fine without any problem. I think those things we can see from here itself, like over here. So all the logs comes in, we can do an inspect, we can do the stats. I mean, all those things are working pretty much exactly like how it used to work in the Docker. So that's it guys, this is pretty cool. And I could see that the Docker desktop for Mac with Apple M1 chip is also being supported and it is working pretty much as expected. I don't see any problem in that. And it's pretty much like how it should be. So thanks to the Docker team for making this happen before the holiday season and it's it's gonna help us a lot while giving us some time during the break time to try out all the experiments that we can do with the docker in the apple m1 chip once again thank you for watching this video and you guys have a great weekend